Hi guys. I've had uh, some people ask me some questions recently about selling things, um, video games and collectibles mainly, but the information uh, I can provide in this video can pertain to basically anything that you would buy on eBay or similar sites. Um, I've been a member of, of eBay for like eight years and done a lot of um, selling and buying on there. I have like a hundred percent reputation um, for customer feedback, so I feel like I might know a little bit that could help other people if um, if you had some questions. Um, a lot of people seem to be very hesitant about using sites like eBay or Amazon because they feel like they're just going to get ripped off or that you know someone's going to steal their credit card information. And um, I mainly deal on eBay, so I'll refer to that a bunch in this video. Oh, low battery, that sucks already. Um, but um, I, it can really apply almost for any of the major sites now because they they have such a good um, customer coverage, like for safety issues or you know fraud. That um, even if for some reason you got a crappy product or you know you you had something you know uh, um, stolen from you, like you know money or your identity, um, y they're gonna cover you. I mean they're gonna you're gonna get your money back, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but the main things I wanted to mention were ways to um, sort of either get the best price on something or to try to get the most out of you know the product you're selling. Um, like I uh, might have already mentioned, um, basically I do all of my eBay shopping revolves around video games or collectibles or, and stuff like that. But it can pertain to anything. So if you're not interested in the things I am, it doesn't matter. This is common knowledge or, or you know knowledge that can help multiple people. Um, the number one thing you always need to do um, is email a question. Um, even if the description is really good the, from the seller, basically because there's something they're always probably going to leave out. And if you put a detailed email about condition or um, you know the exact model something is or something like that, then and if you get a product that you weren't expecting, you can use the the you can use the emails as proof so that you know well I, I asked them this question and they do you know they del deliberately said yes or no and obviously it it was you know what they didn't describe so always ask questions and if someone doesn't have a good description um, you know but they have a good rating it could just mean that they're putting you know 50 items up a day or, or they're a huge seller so it doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad seller they just might not have the time to do really good descriptions um, so you always need to ask good questions. Um, one other thing I do, which a lot of people seem to not really think about, is that, yes, eBay is a mainly a bidding site, and people put items up, and you're supposed to just either bid on them or buy it now. Um, but you can you can email a question through you know the website to any to anyone that's selling an item, and just you know like ask questions. Or I tend to always ask, um, especially if it's a buy it now price. Um, hey, if uh, I see you're asking, say, seventy dollars for this. I would you be willing to go any lower on the price? And you'd be surprised that, I mean, I'd say ninety percent of the time they they if they respond, they'll say you know yeah, or they'll kind of you know try to feel you out and see what you're looking for. You almost never get a, a flat up no. It's just something that uh, you know the, the people are putting stuff on on the site to sell and make money off of. Anyone that's showing interest. You know they're going to want to have some type of communication with, especially if the item. Uh, maybe you mentioned that you know if it doesn't sell for what you're asking for after the auction, um, I offer this amount. Um, and, and then you know if if the item doesn't sell and they they take your amount, cool. Then you save some money. You had to wait an extra day or something like that. It doesn't you know it's no really harm in uh, in you losing out on the item because it was more than you're probably going to be willing to pay for in the first place. Always make sure though that you do complete the transaction through eBay. Um, have the person like relist an item or have them change the price on eBay. Don't make a purchase um, off of off of the site, off of eBay, Amazon, wherever you go, um, because then they would not be covered. Um, if you do through PayPal, you might you could still be covered through you know PayPal issues, but it's just a lot easier um, you know, to do it through the site, so then you have, you know, uh, both the main site and uh, PayPal or whoever you're paying them um, covering you. Um, <clears throat> that, excuse me, I am a little sick, so my voice is going to sound kind of funky in this. But, um, 
that also um, makes me want to mention that there are other sites, like I've said, Amazon a few times right now, that sell stuff that people can go on and sell things. Um, I know that uh, I've had a lot of um, friends and stuff not even realize that Amazon is a site like that. They thought it was just, you know, you go on and buy new products, um, but you can easily find really old things, used items, and sometimes for a better deal than that's even on eBay. Um, also, there's Half.com, which is owned by eBay, and I've, it's not a bidding site. You just go on and buy an item, um, like Amazon, but uh, I found quite a few um, things that weren't listed on, on eBay when I was looking for them on Half.com. Um, now, as a seller, there's, you know, so many different things that you should do, but um, I, as a seller for me, what I want to do and, and what I look for in other sellers to do when I'm buying stuff from them is, one, be descriptive as you possibly can. If anything has any issues, um, scratches or, or damage to it, you know, please describe it, you know, like it is, because all it's going to do is end up either causing you hassle on the sense of the um, buyer not being happy, um, or a refund or something like that. It, it just take care of it at the beginning. And even if you're a very you know uh, profitable seller on eBay or Amazon, and you don't you know give great descriptions, so you don't have time, it, still add put something. Put please ask questions or something like that because it's a big uh, turn off to a, a buyer if the seller doesn't have any information and they really don't seem to want to take you know questions. You're just going to probably move on to somebody else that gave a nice description. Um, also, email back. If I take the time to, you know, interested in your product and email you, um, please respond. Even if it's, uh, they're asking a question that you, that you were blatantly going to say no to, like, you know, something like, you know, would you lower the price or can you please uh, give me more photos or something like that of it. Even if you can't, you know, just respond because that means maybe that person will, you know, check with your, your uh page again or what you're selling at a later time just not at that time um, but I guess that's about it um, the the number one thing I, I, I would recommend what I mentioned is ask ask if they're, they're willing to drop the price um, it's it's not like there there's any you know strict rules on asking those kind of questions and the seller can change prices can take a, a, a listing off if they want to they can do whatever they basically want with their item while it's on there so it's not breaking any type of rules you you just might get a no and if you know you get a no you can still buy the item from them at the price they're asking so you're not really you know gonna step on their toes you're still gonna give them money in, in the long run if it's something you really really want so I hope this helped out a little bit and if anyone ever has any questions about collecting stuff, video games, uh, toys, whatever. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I love getting questions. And um, it's one of the main things, like I mentioned before, that I think as a collector of something, collectors just like to, to talk about you know, their things. That's why I have a lot of the stuff is because I enjoy it and I enjoy sharing that and you know, learning other things from other people too. So um, hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Peace.